Waz and I made it to space, but that's just the beginning. We now need to explore the galaxy and make our factory interplanetary. Our goal is to beat Space Exploration plus Crastorio 2 before Space Age releases and time isn't on our side. Will we make it or will this save file be a mark of shame on my hard drive for the rest of time? Welcome to a race against time and space. is in like a 700 degree celsius heated chamber filled with chlorine gas and when you heat it the material emits the neurotoxins like oh great okay and we're back last time i landed on the moon and got space science going there is a bit more to get done up here so i have enlisted the help of a master scientist in physics you just have to be like math champ right and in chemistry there's you have to actually know all the things instead of just like knowing math right in physics you're just like like, uh, particles. And then chemistry, you're like, oh, this one dissolves bones. Yay. You're, you're like synthesizing it and, and they're like, oh yeah, now you need to make sure the temperature stays at 38.37 degrees Celsius. And if, if you deviate by two degrees, it, it it actually changes from a vitamin into a poison. <laughs> right. Yeah, it like it's... explode and kill everyone in the room. I have and... a question for you. What's up? What is the chance of missing eight 80% shot. Oh, I'll calculate that right now. It's 80% to the 8th power. You fool! It's 1 minus 0.8 to the 8th power. Somebody stop this man! That's a really big number. It's a really small number. It's a really big number small of digits. Number. If you recall, we discovered a few oil barrels up here, and this giant lab here will turn it into lube so we can actually use it. I am very annoyed at stats why are they the way they are sometimes you roll the number this is basically a college course at this point hope you're taking notes i put a space manufactory with a requester chest down here to make scaffolding and i can finally make things a little less claustrophobic it makes it makes their egg-like bodies even more horrible We received one science rocket at this pad, and I want to get a start on automating the process of sending more science rockets in the future. It starts with having adequate space to unload the landing pad. What? They are eggs. They, they are pawns. They are not eggs. I could crack one of those fuckers open and cook them. They're more like scotch eggs. The inserters on the bottom are filtered for science, while on the top they are grabbing anything except science. This allows the science rocket the flexibility to send more than just science without filling up the science warehouse. Cause I'm a fucking die. And all my guys are low on morale. I mean they're low on morale because they're fighting necromancers. I think if I ever fought a necromancer, it would permanently lower my morale. Well, I was thinking like the next planet we go to, we could send send you so you actually get to do things. That would be that'd be good. I think Waz loves the idea of a planet I can't build on. Space science has unlocked a ton of new goodies that are familiar from vanilla like research speed and bot carry capacity, but also some new things like cryonite lube, plasma generator, data card, holmium. I'm not sure where to even start, but this giant hot popsicle thing looks cool. Impressive. Our chemical stations are getting really complicated now. There are tons of new recipes and a lot of fluids I haven't worked with before. Yo. Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna be like a cult <laughs> in, in a wholesome way. Life support facilities work on the moon and allow you to reuse life support canisters. The first process is to clean them requiring cosmic water. The cleaning process creates contaminated cosmic water which can be cleaned to create contaminated bio sludge which can be cleaned to create bio sludge. The bio sludge process also creates contaminated cosmic water so the full process can feed into itself in weird ways. I struggled with this one for a bit because space underground pipes are actually much worse than normal underground pipes. Oh, 
Oh, and did I mention that cleaning contaminated cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge have a chance to create scrap? It's not that hard to deal with, but it's icing on my indecisive cake. force okay and it works bio sludge is the only unaccounted for side effect of this whole process but it's only made very slowly in fact i still have like 37 hours left in space so this really wasn't super necessary Yeah, there's one more step. Contaminated scrap. This needs to be decontaminated with cosmic water to make both contaminated fluids as well as some scrap and uranium. Wait, has there always been uranium in my life support canisters? That's surprising to me. All right, there, it works. Don't ask me how, if it were up to me, I would mix all these stupid fluids together and dump them into space. You know, unnecessary. Exactly. Instead of buying four cans of dark red kidney beans, I bought two cans of black beans and two cans of dark red kidney beans. And I'm eating the mix right now. Brother. I eating, thought I thought of you. You're just eating a pile of beans? I just emptied the beans into a Tupperware and scooped several large spoonfuls of beans and bean juice onto my food. Bro. <laughs> like literally what? Beans, gourmet. Could you please define pickup? Pickup truck. Could you please define truck? God. Tonight on bomb gear. Tonight on bomb gear. Tonight on bomb gear. And they're like, oh. Love your son. Oh. Love your son. You know, it's actually incredible what saying one syllable in a Discord can do. The list of people. People. Yeah, NASA NASA people. people. <laughs> Not again. NASA people. NASA people. I'll go find the NASA people. I will find them. All right, TBH kind of sucks up here. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not that funny. I, that, I, that's a threat, brother. I don't know about you. What? Shorted out and went back to default dialogue. He ran out of API tokens and he defaulted back to his memory for a second. Well, I just, I, I just want to leave the planet. What? What's the big deal? Come and try it. You're not even tall enough. All right. Well, fuck you guys and fuck the moon. I'm out. Ugh, I landed so far away from my jet. I'm not in a jet. Ugh. <sighs> <Whew. laughs> Moving on. Okay, I'm back because I needed some resources and Waz was on a sabbatical taking care of real life grown up things like Deep Rock Galactic. So I wanted to set the rocket up so it would just send things up on its own when they're needed. Thankfully, there is still a requester strongbox next to the rocket, so I can just request the item as long as it is in the bot network. Therefore, I'm going to go about and find the items I need and add them to passive provider chests. Also, rocket fuel isn't being made as quickly as I thought, so I'm going to try and ramp that up. Beep, 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 beep. A lot of practice beeping. The limiting factor right now is oxygen, and the only way to do it is to separate the oxygen molecule from hydrogen in water using these electrolysis plants, which are slow. We also don't have a use for the hydrogen right now, so we burn it into the atmosphere. Burning hydrogen is fine, right guys? We can also craft them in these big fuel refineries, which are almost three times faster and get an extra module slot. Yeah, you got bit by a capybara. I didn't know capybaras could lash out. They're all muscle. You need to go get a rabies shot. The fuck is a capybara gonna get rabies? They're attracted to the rear end of vehicles. Oh man, guys, this bread is looking really default. Actually, I got the loaf shaping perfect on this one. 
I'm going to use this Dish TV satellite to receive signal about how many items are currently on the moon so I can load the rocket with whatever the moon might need. I have enough rocket fuel and other supplies to keep making space science, so I've decided to procrastinate on fully automating this process and just send it. In theory, this is a good system, but in practice, eh. Rude. The rocket pad is unloading correctly, and the bots are transporting all the resources to continue sciencing. Fantastic. Rocket fuel from Pyroflux. Compared to making some steam and ore, this is very compelling use of Pyroflux. There are a ton of new buildings, including this casting machine, an industrial furnace, and a quarry drill. Very exciting. I just wish I could see what recipes they make before building them so I could plan a little better. All right, boys, we get the, I get the most default bread. The cable TV dish will receive logistic signals from Navis, while this telescope thing will send signals to Navis. I imagine there are a few ways to handle logistics, and I think it's most fun to try and supply this planet with a single rocket. The list of demands so far are all five sciences, heat shielding, rocket fuel, stone, or green chips, blue chips, and bottled lube, and this list is only going to grow. It'll be interesting trying to balance the rocket to load enough of these resources while also not overflowing the chest storage or sending a rocket with very small amount of resources. The recipe is called Russian black bread, and it has ingredients that would normally be associated with Russian black bread. It should be black with soot from your coal-fired It should be black from, with soot from when I threw it in the fire to bake it. I also made one of these air condensers because I thought you had to make it in space. You don't. You can make it anywhere, and it doesn't even work up here because there isn't air. Go figure. Uh, but I'm glad to have another tool in the box. Excited to see how this can help us. Back home, Waz has been a busy beaver. Like, a really, really busy beaver. Look at how far out these walls are extended. Holy crap. It took some finagling, but I managed to make a thermodynamics facility up here. I don't know if I have a use for it yet, but I'm happy to have it, and I'm sure I'll be using it in the future. Actually, your previous communication was a violation of FCC uh, Rule 13. Uh, I'm going to need you to self-report. Self, -re self -report. Do you practice that voice? Uh, yeah. Lot lizard. Lot lizard. Uh, lot lizard. Thankfully, sending the signal to Navis is fairly simple. Most items are in the logistic system, so if I hook this up to a roboport, it will send basically everything that is up here. I say basically everything because the science is actually in a normal warehouse that does not connect to the system for reasons I'll explain later. Thankfully, I can just attach a signal from that warehouse and we should be good to go. E trucker girl. Okay, just gonna check back up on Navis and rolling blackouts. Yep, fantastic, just as planned. Why are we still here? I'm severely damaged. Hmm. It's not easy being green. Yeah, our green energy plan had some flaws. I guess we didn't have enough accumulators. Oh well, whatever. I'm just gonna keep making shit up here. I'm actually surprised at how little I reacted to this. I didn't even click through these menus faster. I was just totally okay with our base having zero power. I suppose that's part of the experience. The existential apathy that sets in. 
I'm not showing every time a train runs out of fuel because we didn't add a fuel belt to the station or a mine runs dry and we need to make another mine, or we run out of oil because the balance of heavy, light, and petroleum is out of whack even with cracking, or biters attack, but these are all frequent occurrences. You start to get used to the notifications popping up and at some point you go, yeah, the power will turn back on when the sun is up, I got other shit to do. I did actually find a use for these thermodynamics facilities. Iron and copper ore are both possible byproducts from the scrapping process and these can smelt them on the spot. I really like the recycling vibe that space has. Yes, you need to send a metric ton of materials into space, but some of them can be recycled. Even if the amount of ore is small, it feels the same as the productivity bonuses and I'm a huge fan of that. I also found this telescope that I didn't notice was up here. I can't look through it, so it's just gonna be a Minecraft decoration for a while. Anyway, it's time to go back down and send more junk into space. My weakness, not being in a jet. No. First, we need to stabilize our grid and Accumulatorville is getting more inhabitants. Yeah, yeah, I know. Snap to grid with relative position. It's okay to scream at your monitor. I'm here for you. Doesn't seem too bad. Thanks. Let him know I'm here. No. Now to fix this whole not being in a jet thing. Oh, my precious. Why do you leave me so? Solar panels are still being installed, so we're just gonna continue to get blackouts every night for a while. This unfortunately means that a lot of the expansions Waz made are going to get demolished because they are being defended by only laser turrets. No power, no lasers. You know, everyone talks about mental illness, but nobody ever talks about mental skillness. Bro. Bro. That air condenser I made earlier is actually super handy. It can grab oxygen out of the air, meaning I no longer need to separate water and can also grab hydrogen or nitrogen if I need them, which I don't. And that's a much easier way to feed oxygen into rocket fuel. Did y'all get up to today? You already Working. asked that. Oh my god. It's dude, it's the fucking skibbity toilet. Huh? You are just in time. For what? I am setting up the rocket to launch to the other planet and I was going to shove you into it. Hog champo. So I'm guessing we want I've got some like default stuff like rocket fuel and low density structure, glass steel. Um Guessing we want like miners, substations. Um, bots, a bunch of bots and robo ports. Yeah. And a shit ton of solar, because there's no biters there. I don't know if crashing on a planet does more damage than crashing on a space station. Hmm. We'll find out. That's a lot of random shit. In there, yeah. It. When I was on the moon, it like loaded up with the automatic stuff well we don't have enough fuel uh fuel's getting made a lot faster now oh. actually yeah we're backed up on rocket fuel oh shit we are nice did we want to go oh uh, um to hephaestus or morgan um my thought was hephaestus well morgan still has some cryonite though which was my thing it's the one that okay i see there's no hephaestus has no water so we need to figure that out i mean if you want to send me to hephaestus we need to send water too because can't get any there. Okay, we can do that. Um, Actually, what is in orbit? What do, were you gonna send a or set up another cargo silo? Oh yeah, we should do that. What are we stuck on? Uh, we need to send stone. So the other thing we could do is send this with a bunch of stone to space and then make another rocket. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh man, they took out a lot of turrets. Yeah, I'll just double up on turrets. It should be fine. Oh, they took out like all the turrets. Okay. Yeah, the power before I came back, we did, we did not meet production. Okay, I think you should send me to the, the moon that has no biters or not low on oil or well, low on area to make more oil. <laughs> So if you want to go up there and make turn the oil planet and make plastic and send it back. Yeah, yeah. It also has like three new resources. So if you can figure out how to use like iridite and cryonite. Yeah, that might be our better bet for now. We want cryonite first, I think. 
because Cryonite's the one that gives us utility for logistics packs. Because Vulcanite's for production. We wanted to get more bot speed, right? Or Isabella, but I think Morgan would be easier to set up. Yeah, I feel like we don't need that much Cryonite right now. Yeah, I mean, we just need enough to start. Okay, Um, I'll go scoop up a bunch of stone, shove it in the rocket, and then send it off. The next one we can send to... Festus. I keep getting it wrong, Morgan. Okay, rocket is good. Yeah, we stopped getting um, satellite telemetry from the rocket, so I stopped launching the satellite rocket. You stopped giving us data, so we pulled your funding. Oh, no, yeah, I just set the signals up wrong. Lol. Yeah, uh, turns out I'm wrong. This definitely still gives telemetry. Yep, gave us telemetry. Okay. I'll just start putting stuff in here that'll be useful on the planet. Do you want trains up there? That's a question that you know the answer to. You're right. My box of trains, no. When you're up there, like if the planet doesn't have any copper, we should maybe send some with you or something like that. Morgan has, oh, has copper. Not a lot of iron. Oh shit. Did you look at Impusa? 67% threat. Navis is like 33%. One of these is 98%. Oh, 100% threat on Numera. Also, Hagen has a uh, 0% threat. It's a moon, which kind of sucks, but it has a lot of cryonite. How much more room do we have to shove and in shit into the rocket? I think we're about 100 more. Oh, we should get a shit ton of pump jacks. Alrighty. I think I'm ready. I'm to boldly go where no man has gone before. Salute. Here we go. From a multiplayer perspective, this mod is unique in my long gaming career. Never have I played a game where it is not only viable, but advantageous to send yourself to another planet and avoid interacting with your teammates. I've mentioned it before, but the average Factorio player is gifted in many areas and communication is not one of them. This mod has a built-in mechanism for permanently escaping social situations, and I wonder if that was intended. Anyway, Waz has graduated from Delivery Cannon Cuck to Astronaut and traveled to the Beach Paradise planet of Morrigan. We are mostly interested in the vast oil wells that this planet has to offer. Because we are low on plastic, the idea is to set up processing for plastic here and rocket it back when it's ready. It might seem more flexible and efficient to send back crude oil, but remember barrels hold very small amounts of liquids and are also made from steel, and this planet is very low on iron, so exporting solids is much more desirable. Oh, okay. The rocket had nowhere to land, so all the cargo crashed into the water, and Waz has to spend quite a lot of time cleaning it up. There we go. Oh, should have given you a core miner. Yeah, I can build one relatively easily. Yeah, it's just concrete, regular drills, steel and circuits. I could make one right now, actually. All right, well, now that dad's gone, it's time to master all the things we haven't mastered yet. <clears throat> Speak. Did, did somebody leave? Uh, yeah, your dignity. Brother. H H. Greg. H H. -H Greg. H H H. Greg. This kill is shoot. Our core miner has slowly been piling up pyroflux, and I'm going to cash that in for rocket fuel. Just add iron, oxygen, and coal, and voila. Okay, looks like Waz has built a monument to the train gods. <laughs> it just. That's uh, an alien definitely made this. Oh my god, fucking 8,000 combined yield <laughs> for an oil field, that's amazing. Yeah, man. The freedom planet. Allow me to continue my scouting. Oh. We turned the smallest stone mine, we turned the entire stone mine into landfill, <laughs> which I love. I'm gonna lag out the server for a sec here. I'm just gonna do a surface scan on Morrigan. Oh, okay, I found Immersite. Looking for Cryonite now. And this is a fucking water world, dude. 
Yeah, more iron though is is big, big if true. Oh, I got an 11,621% foil over here though. Oh my god. It's my turn to be delivery cannon cuck, but this time we have rockets, so it's a lot easier. Morgan as a planet is missing iron, so I'm sending iron plates and steel. We also forgot medium poles, which was wants, and because there's water everywhere, landfill as well. I'm really glad I don't have to deal with the delivery cannon restrictions, though. I will work on getting crinate rods ready to be shipped out to you. Should I send stuff to you to allow you to send a cargo rocket back? That would be helpful. Or are you planning on making all that up there? I mean, I can make the fuel. I have like negative iron though. Yeah, you need the cargo rocket sections. Yeah, if you want to stack them and send me just like one rocket full of stacked cargo sections, that'd probably be enough for a long time. Yeah, I'll send it in here with just like the landfill and iron I'm sending, so I'll just put it as part of that. Yeah, oh, do you want to toss a couple core miners in there? And if you have more uh, solar panels. All right, got a shopping list of things to grab for Waz. Hello. Oh, 15K oil yield. Hmm. Oh, this planet is fucking tiny, dude. To send rockets back, he's going to need cargo rocket sections, which stack to one. Thankfully, they can be packed up to five at a time, making them five times more efficient to send per slot, which is important with a rocket's large but limited capacity. When Waz receives these care packages, you can simply unpack them and use them to fill a rocket silo. The beauty of this system is that he will eventually be able to make his own rocket fuel, meaning all I need to send are these cargo sections and space capsules, and anything we want to import back to this planet is as good as ours. We're a bit off of this though, so we'll need to wait a bit until we realize this goal. Waz seems to have enough on his plate right now, setting up mining, power, some of the basic infrastructures, so this rocket doesn't need to be sent right away. Uh, would you need purple or red chips? Not that I can think of. I think I'm gonna go to sleep here. And so we got up the next morning and kept pushing forward. Speep. Burp. How's it going? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's basically the King of the Hill intro every time we boot up. So what is what is the goal for today? I am loading up your rocket, then I'm going to make another rocket silo. Uh, did you put a rocket silo? Wait, do we put a rocket silo on my planet? Yeah, you should have one. And then the question's like, are we going to do that much on this planet? Like, probably not. Well, if it wasn't so much water, I would say it'd be a good little production planet. Yeah, and then also we're going to do like, at some point we're going to do enriched or... I, I started laying down that big train track and then I saw how big the planet was and just pulled it all up. I'm like, well, shit. So I'm probably just going to be cooking plastic and then cryonite. That's pretty much it. Actually, no, I can't even cook cryonite because there isn't any cryonite on this fucking planet. Is it only spawns in cold regions? And the only cold region doesn't have any. Uh, that sucks. It has iridite though, but we can't use that until we get vulcanite. Surprise, the resource percentages shown for planets are not ratios, but probabilities. That means that there wasn't a small amount of cryonite on this planet, there was a small chance of cryonite on this planet, which is a massive difference. Man, I wish I could read sometimes. It's not the end of the world, the oil products are still useful, but it does mean that space utility science will be delayed and we'll need to hunt for cryonite on a different planet. Alright, I'm just gonna send this. Welfare drop off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah, okay, it's already there, nice. It's getting siphoned off. Did you put regular cargo rocket sections or stacked ones? There, you should be stacked. Oh, there's also regular. Oh, might have missed a few, but. Uh, actually, I didn't miss a few. Those extra rocket sections are from rocket reusability. Please amend the record. 
Okay, so what do you want me to send since I can't send crap? <laughs> if you get up like plastic, that would be cool. I'm gonna just set up the core mining, I think, to start with. Yeah, that works. I'll start to, I'm gonna make the science rocket be a, be a science rocket. Probably set up a landing pad at some point for you too here. I guess another thing, you could make sulfur and plastic. That might be nice. Yeah, cause it's just petroleum water for sulfur. Man, I don't even need this jack, dude. This. Why so fucking small? Now, another question is, can we set delivery cans up between us? That's a good question. The answer to that is no. Morgan is too far away. While we're still discussing logistical possibilities, I'm setting up a train stop for steel. The main belt is very steel hungry, and the small amount of iron produced from the core miner is no longer enough. Checking back in on space, the science production has grinded to a halt due to a lack of rocket fuel. In fact, the list of resources needed in space includes rocket fuel, stone, blue chips, green chips, lube, and steel. I want to solve this problem once and for all by setting up a logistic system to account for minimum amount of resources to be in space and load said resources that are below their minimum into the cargo rocket. I like this system a lot better than having a resource for every rocket, but it will take a bit of logistics wiring that is a bit more advanced than the average project. The first step is to set these minimums in a constant combinator. On top of the previous mentioned resources, all five sciences need to be loaded in as well, so I start with these. Everything that is logistically available in space is being sent to this TV dish, and the contents of the rocket are also logistically accessible. What is in space plus what is in the rocket will equal the supply of what I eventually will have in space, so if I add these values together, then multiply by negative 1, I can compare this supply signal to my demand signal from the constant combinator. Everything that has a positive value can therefore be loaded into the rocket, and conveniently I can just set the filter inserters to set filter mode when hooked up to this sum logistically. Okay, I've got some basic automation for the rocket that goes to the moon to do research. Nice. The last piece of this puzzle is figuring out when to launch a rocket. Obviously sending a full rocket every time is best, but imagining the scenario where the rocket has one more empty slot and every resource has reached its demand, meaning that slot will never get full, is a little painful. My initial thought is to allow the rocket to launch if the cargo is full or if there is zero demand for other resources. This has its own issues, but it makes me feel better, so I do it. Yeah, I actually have, like, no food right now. I'm, just, I'm trying to find something to eat right now, and I'm just like, I have nothing. Ugh. I've got, like, some cupcakes. I got a thing of applesauce. Maybe I should just eat that. I ran out of eggs. Big sad. Oh, I could make it. Oh, I'm gonna grilled cheese. For some reason, we don't have as much logistic tech cards as we have every other type of tech card. After a Scooby-Doo style hunt, turns out I just added logistic tech cards to the demand side twice. Genius. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I figured it out. Mystery scalved, Scoob. Mystery scalved? This mystery's been smalled. I think the first rocket launch, the first automated rocket launch is going to be completely full, which is very satisfying. Oh, yes, get in there. And there it is, Space Logistics Mostly Automated. Science is back up. Oh, I didn't even have to touch anything. It's so nice. Should have had one of the manufactories making space science. Science is back up. Time to shop for a few more goodies. Oh, artillery. Electromagnetics facility. That's fucking sick. I don't even know what it does. How Giga Chad should I make my oil processing? I think you know the answer to that question. Infinite Chad. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was cooking things. Uh, whoopsie. My kitchen is very smoky. Oh. Because my frying pan is 600 degrees right now. Well, hey, the good news is it means my grilled cheese is gonna cook really fast. Okay. Let me. Cool. Let me take it off the burner really quick with my bare hand here. That wasn't great. Uh, do you want me to send it to space or send it to not space? Send it here to Navis. Plastic and sulfur is perfect. I was about to say something very dumb. Don't do that. And that was going to give you the recipe for my really good grilled cheese. And then I was like, oh, wait, right. Oh, okay, Mr. Krabs. 
<laughs> I decided to put the landing pad for the plastic and sulfur rocket here. Both plastic and sulfur are used nearby to the east and excess plastic and sulfur can be loaded onto these empty train stops and sent elsewhere. The core mining process on Planet Morrigan also creates minor amounts of uranium and rare metals, so those will also be loaded off the landing pad on a separate side. The landing pad's wide perimeter is very handy for setups like this. Oh. Meteor actually hit. Didn't really do that much. Nowadays, we let the bots handle the cleanups. Gave us some uranium. Thank you, Meteor. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I want to go watch Shrek again. Especially, actually, I think Shrek 2 is better than Shrek. God, there's so much, like, bullshit you have to do to launch a fucking rocket in this game, man. Realizing more and more, I don't really need to go to the moon to do anything. I can just fucking do it from my inventory. Well, are we in a pretty good spot right now? Cause like I can't get any other tech over here. Um, yeah, we're doing good. Cause like the research should be able to handle itself from now on. I yeah. have zero cryonite here. We were lied to. Yes. <sighs> we were oh. debated. Woob. Okay, we could go to Chrysalis, which is cryonite. Fitting. And it has giga cryonite. Yeah, so cryonite requires frozen terrain. I, I could see if there, I could just view the surface and see if there's any close by. Oh, there's a pyramid. Uh, we just hit some lag. <laughs> yep, that's because I'm looking at the surface okay. and loading chunks. Cryonite, there's a 3.7 million right next to spawn on Chrysalis. We'll need to get some laser turrets and solar and shit. We should probably just make a big blueprint like that's the deploy blueprint and then just drop down blueprint thing immersite cave yes. interesting yeah this place has like a lot of shit that's kind of cool so I, i've got four million immersite here as well do we want to do any processing here or should i just rocket it to you it's raw and you're talking about the what the immersite yeah it would probably make sense to send it raw because it's easier to make productivity modules and add them here indeed did you send me 10 fish oh yes i did i sent you lunch ah I see. Uh, you realize that fish damage you now, right? They do? Oh, what? Yeah, but you can launch it to get a dolphin. I don't know what you can do with the dolphin. Okay, you know what time it is? We get artillery wagons when we research artillery. No one likes a soggy fry, you know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Um, the rocket sustained damage and missed the landing pad. Or that was the one that I sent? Yep, that was the one. I don't know where the fuck it went. Eh, it's not that big of a deal, but good to know that it can happen. It's just scattered about instead of on the landing pad, so the bots are taking care of it. Well, do you want to play some Squirtle while we're waiting? Oh, I got... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Meteor, you piece of shit. You got meteored? The refinery that I'm building got meteored. Dude, the timing on that. Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god. And now I need to build another fucking refinery because I took out my refinery. That has to be unbelievably unlucky. Now that all the Waz shareholders have been bankrupted, I'm going to try and resupply his endeavors. Hey, gamers. Yo. Space lab. Fuck yeah. Is it like Air Bud? It's like a lab? It's not a golden retriever, it's a golden receiver. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up. You know, terminology matters. Look at, look at where I am right now on Morgan. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Optimal. Definitely faster than using the uh, the loaders. Yeah, because you got three of them. Okay, so uh, you had a bunch of things on your wish list. It was pipes, it was meteor defense. Can you make the ammo there? Coal and steel? Steel's gonna be an issue. I mean, I'm not, I'm sure I won't need a ton of meteor defense ammo. So if you can send like, how, how high does it stack? Looks like it stacks to 10. No, that's how many I can make. Four? I think we have never put this item into a chest. Oh, I got it. Second guess. It was Blastoise. Okay, that's enough Squirtle. I'm, I'm happy that you made it home and didn't like end up as a splat on the highway. I feel like Lucio pressing E. What other shit did you want? I got pipes. Two meteor turrets are in there. 
with a little bit of ammo. More solar. You want concrete? I don't need that shit. I just need solar. <laughs> Power. Your mic's not working, by the way. He just joined to fucking stare us down. <laughs> He's asserting dominance. Gling, and I watched all the videos, and I was like, fuck. Hopefully, this is enough pipe. I'm just gonna fucking do it, because this isn't working. You guys will download this and think, hell yeah. I was literally thinking, guys, we'll see this interface and think, hell yeah. That's been 80% of your thoughts for the past. He would like wakes up and looks around and goes, hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just wake up and think, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. I want the uh, like the David Lynch supercut of like commuting to work, going, hell yeah. Seven minutes of uninterrupted, uh, like being in traffic and looks around and goes, hell yeah. It's cut off, hell yeah. And then there's, <laughs> then there's five more minutes of uninterrupted traffic. Dude, David Lynch is a dirty boy. Anyway, what were you saying? I won't off on it. No, I was just shitting on you. You can keep going. Oh, no, I watched uh, Blue Velvet the other day. Ah, shit, that movie was fucking wild, dude. That was weird fucking, that was a weird time. But Twin Peaks was great. Come on, come on. I ate in that diner. Did you poop there too? Um, I did actually. That's way more exciting. Loading a rocket is a stressful activity. I have 500 inventory slots to fill, but all Waz needs is like two stacks of pipes. I feel like his mom running around making sure I packed his lunch and he has all his notebooks and pencil box. I just send this one with 300 empty slots because I was so sick of looking at it. Meanwhile, one of the cargo rockets on the moon crashed. It's a 1% chance right now, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Dude, these bots are fucking struggling. Maybe it's because you don't pay them a little wage. Fuck. Why should I? Bots are gonna form a union, dude. Look at the look at the inserters again down here. They're doing a wave. This is illegal. H H H Craig. God damn it. Dude, that will that will never leave my brain. It's it's so OP, dude. H H H Craig. <laughs> Trying to think what other Daft Punk songs you can uh, apply that to. H H H Craig Panasonic fifty dollars. <laughs> H H Craig H H Craig. Dun, 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 right. My name is Giovanni Giorgio, but some people just call me Giorgio. New voice, hear me. Unfortunately. Checking back in on the science rocket, everything seems to be working correctly. The moon is requesting a bunch of lube and science, which matches expectations for producing more space science and space belts. VTubers. VTubers. If Project Farm became a VTuber, my life. <laughs> <was. laughs> yeah, when's Project Farm doing a, cro a crossover yeah. collab with Hollow Live? All right, I ate my burrito. What What's kind the... of burrito did you have? The spiky, uh, spicy brown spicy. chicken mole. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's it's eating the character. fucking yellow things from Mario. Yep. My name is Wilford Brimley, and I have diabetes. 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 If it wasn't obvious enough, I want a lot of chem stations. I haven't needed many up until now, and I'm realizing how annoying their five input recipe is to collect by hand, so I got fed up and decided to make an assembler do the work. Good for him. Hell yeah, brother. Nighttime shit, baby. <clears throat> Chat GPT says I need a dried fruit, but I don't have any fruit. I could dry some blueberries. It would take like 70 hours. Hmm. Wonder if I can like cut up protein bars and put them in the granola. I've had you send me a bunch of, uh, Chem plants. Oh, I just got them automated. But the chem plants aren't just for Waz. I'm also going to start the Crastorio 2 or enrichment process. Currently, smelting for iron and copper takes 20 ore to make 15 plates. If we smelt enriched ore, the recipe is 5 to 5, which is a 25% improvement, and all we have to do is add a little bit of sulfuric acid, which we have tons of. If you think I'm gonna put your hands on me, but it gets better. The enriching process creates dirty water, which is the most useless sounding resource until I realize that it can be recycled into your choice of iron, copper, or even other ore. Put your hands in tight jeans, put your hands on me tonight. -da 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 -da. This means we effectively get more ore for free, and we can choose what we turn that ore into. The dirty water cleaning also creates a trickle of sand, which adds up over time and will ease the burden on our stone mines. But I'm not done yet, because this is another process with machines, which means we can prod mod it. The chemical stations can take three prod mods, and we have prod mod twos, which add an additional 16% efficiency overall. 
considering that all we need to do is add sulfuric acid, this is a massive improvement to our current ore process. Oh, I got my oscilloscope today. It's really neat. It shows me the, the electricity. That, that's, that's how you give cause, co, co, the, the cognitive dissonance. Is, like, <laughs> it's got honey. And there is one small problem, though. This is a chem station recipe with two liquid and one solid input and one liquid and solid output as well. Our spaghetti will be served today with a heaping dose of fresh ground pipe. Oh, oh shit. Don't bother me, you Oh, really shitty stuff stuck in our head right now. No, all I have is HHH Greg. HHH Greg. I'm an LG smart TV. $99. Oh, dear God. What have I done? Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fucking, like, so you didn't buy it on the... I got it at this flea market. The guy gave me a great deal on it. You know, I'm just being mad at flea markets. Facebook, and I gave the guy $300. That was fucking slick, actually. That's nice, man. Thanks, man. You ready to see the plastic turn on? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. It looks like that scene in Breakfast Machine. Now, how many of these do we want? If it's half plastic, half sulfur. I mean, do we need the sulfur? Up well, sulfur is just fluids, right? It's just water petroleum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we can't really get fluids yeah. off the planet super easily because you can't make steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, would you mail me an SR71 that you 3D printed? I'd email me an SR71 that you 3D printed. What's that voice? What? Who? You. What are you talking about? <laughs> Goes to Olive Garden, leaves a one-star review because the waitress didn't want to discuss minimum wage <laughs> policy. <laughs> Guys will see this and just think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys will just see hell and think, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm a sussy baka. If anything, <laughs> I bring more of a sussy yeah. baka vibe to the group. I'm, I'm sorry, how does that relate to Skibbity Toilet? Guys, we'll see this is just think, hell yeah. Hell yeah? Wait, are they actually Catboys? Hell yeah, dude. Many dancers, very people. Smato, 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 smato. That's just the people. <laughs> <laughs> I told him don't take that people. He took the people. What do we say? The people who take people, we say get him out of here. Resser, 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 resser. Resser, resser. Hell yeah. I guess, I, wow, well, I guess I, I hope it'd be where I was. Can you imagine a wired cattle prod? The amount of current they could push through that thing? God. Sheesh. 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 Wait, this makes sand. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> oh wait wait there's a fucking bookmark called Quista <laughs> yes. Yeah there's that and then there's asking for something in the video and then it happens for the rest of the video. Oh, is it the, the eagle screeching? Yeah. It might be the eagle screeching. Oh. <laughs> when are you gonna be a VTuber? All right, we got 40k plastic loaded up. Yo, okay. plastic 40k for the for the BPA for the yep. Yep. sulfur setup, and then once I got 40k of that, I'll send you the rocket. Uh, where do you want this rocket to go anyway? There is a landing pad called Morrigan. Launching rockets from smaller planets uses less fuel because the gravity's lower. Oh. It only takes me 19k fuel to, or 20k fuel to get it back. Oh, that looks fine. What's wrong with that? Thanks. 
Hell yeah. Jeez. This thing that I'm building is going to take, you know, it's taking me like two hours and it's going to end up being like five seconds of. Hell yeah. Jeez. I'm just happy when I like remember to wear clothes before I go outside. <laughs> <laughs> and that's almost two red belts of enriched iron and copper. Yes, I actually planned this one. One thing to remember is that now instead of ore going to smelting, it's ore going to enriching, then to smelting, so don't forget to update the trains. Alright, first sulfur and plastic shipment is on its way. Oh baby. Here she comes. Oh, you, you already sorted it all out. Nice. Okay. Never mind. You can call us interplanetary now. And that means it's time to ramp up our space expeditions. It's disappointing that Morgan had no cryonite, but we found a few candidate planets that we're pretty confident do. I'm going to start preparing a rocket for my first interplanetary journey next time.